Nancy Grace, every night at 8 Eastern. HLN News and Views. To Jane Gasaras, Jane, give me the timeline. Well, the timeline is back in November of 2006, she went on a vacation from San Antonio where she was a critical care nurse, Lackland Air Force Base, Wilford Hall Medical Center. She went to Colorado to spend time with her brother, and she enjoyed it for a couple of days with him. And all of a sudden, one afternoon, she said that she was going to go out for some smoothies, and they don't really know how she left because she didn't take her brother's car, but she was gone and she didn't come back, and her little 16-month-old was still there. So in the evening, they called police, and that's how it all began. Okay, wait, I don't get it. Jinkasaurus, she tells the brother to his face, I'm heading out for smoothies, or I'm, I'm going to meet friends. How did she have friends there? She didn't live there. And if she said that to his face, didn't he see her walk out the door? Didn't he say, how are you going to get there? He was in the basement with the children and with her daughter, and he didn't see her leave. She did just say she was leaving, but he realized his car was still there. She had taken the family's car the night before to go out to do some good old Texas country western line dancing, but she didn't take the car that afternoon. So it's remained really a mystery of how she left the house. Okay, go through it one more time with me, Jane. So he's downstairs, like in a basement. With the kids, with playing the children. with the kids. Play. That's right. She and, sticks her head in the basement, says, I'm going to go. I'm going to go out for a while, run some errands. Be she right mentioned back. the smoothie. Be back. And she didn't come back. That evening, that's when they called authorities. Joining me right now is Kate Batten, lead investigator, Jefferson County Sheriff's Office, joining us from Golden, Colorado. Kate, thank you for being with us. The, the scenario of her saying, poking her head downstairs, saying, hey, I'm going out. I'll be right back. Did the brother assume she was taking the car? The way that it was reported to us, Nancy, is that she just yelled down and said that she was leaving. She never indicated that she was going to the smoothie shop. She never indicated how long she was going to be gone. So we later heard through other people, through hearsay, that other people were saying that possibly she went to that smoothie shop. We went to that smoothie shop, which is about a mile away, so it's unlikely that Nani would have actually walked there, and they had never seen her that day. Now, Kate Batten, why do you say it's unlikely she would have walked there? In talking to friends and family, Nani wasn't much of a walker, and she's in a very suburban area, and it's a mile away just to get to the, where the businesses begin. And it would have been much easier and convenient and logical on a cold November morning to take a car.